Summer golf is finally here. Don't you just love playing golf out in the sun? Although, don't you just hate it when your feet are absolutely melting out on a hot sunny day? So you're gonna to wanna to stick around and watch this video because I'm gonna run through my top five golf shoes for summer. Hi everyone, Kevin here from Golf Guy Reviews and in this video today, I'm gonna to run through the best summer golf shoes you can currently buy out on the market today. Now, if you like the look of any of the shoes in the top five, then I've included the links to the full reviews down in the description below so you can go check them out. Now, because I'm only including shoes that I've actually tried and tested myself in the top five, there's a few honorable mentions that I'm gonna let you know about now, but I couldn't make the top five just because it's not fair that I haven't actually tested them yet. Now, first of all, there's the Echo Biome Cool Pro that currently retail in the UK for £210. And although they've got a combination of leather and Gore-Tex upper, which perhaps wouldn't lend itself to performing well out in the summer, they've actually got all these vents in the sole of the shoe, and it also has cool in the name, so you might want to check those out. Then you have the G4 MG 4.1. Now these retail in the UK for £160 and have a knitted upper, so should keep your feet nice and cool out on the course in the summer. And lastly, there's the Cueta Money Makers, which again have a knitted upper and retail for $160, although I'm not sure you can currently pick them up here in the UK. So with those out of the way, just to let you know that I've really focused this top five on shoes that are gonna keep your feet nice and cool out on the course during those hot summer days. So this isn't necessarily about what look the coolest, but I've really gone with hopefully what are gonna perform the best and keep your feet nice and cool. So with all that out of the way, I really hope you enjoy this video today. Hit that like button if you do, and let's jump straight in. So at number five, I've picked the Nike Roche G Spikeless Golf Shoes, and these currently retail in the UK for anywhere between 60 to 90 pounds. Now, anyone who has followed my channel before in the past and have seen my previous review on these will know that I'm not actually the biggest fan of these shoes and that's why I've put them in at number five. Personally for me, I don't think they're very stable. I don't think they perform that well for me out on the golf course. And if you're the type of golfer that really wants to focus on stability, these aren't gonna be the golf shoes for you. However, I've had to include them in this video because they are incredibly lightweight, they really, really are, but also they use this mesh upper. And so out on a sunny day, these are gonna keep your feet nice and cool because they are incredibly breathable. They do tons of different colorways in these shoes. So if you like the look of them, they are a very nice and comfortable shoe in regards to the softness underfoot. They're not necessarily the most stable golf shoes as I mentioned before, but they are nice and lightweight and use this really, really breathable mesh upper. At number four, we've got the Footjoy Flex Spikeless Golf Shoes that currently retail in the UK for around 80 pounds. Now these were actually one of the very first golf shoes that I ever reviewed, and they are very, very lightweight, and again, have a nice and breathable mesh upper material. So out on a hot sunny day, they are gonna keep your feet nice and cool. Again, similar to the Nikes, I don't think they actually performed that great out on the golf course. I know they are a very, very popular shoe because everyone likes the casual approach to them and the very kind of relaxed style and comfortable fit, but they're not the softest shoes underfoot. I was actually a little bit disappointed. They feel a little bit firm to me when you compare them to other spikeless golf shoes out on the market. And also they're not really the most stable of golf shoes. There's not a lot of stability in that upper there for me personally. And finally, in regards to these shoes, the grip is, I would say, decidedly average. You can definitely wear them on and off the course if you want to, but that grip isn't really gonna perform too well once you get any kind of dew or softness on the ground. Or if you really, really put a lot of force through your golf swing, then actually I think you might have a little bit of an issue with the grip on these shoes because it doesn't really dig and cut into the turf that much. That being said, for £80, they're quite well priced, they're nice and comfortable, and they're definitely gonna keep your feet nice and cool out on the course. Also, just to let you know with these shoes, that actually Footjoy have recently released the Footjoy Coastals, which use the same kind of silhouette of the shoe, but actually use a knitted upper instead. They look really, really cool. Personally, I think the Coastals look a lot better than the normal original Flex, and I would have hoped that actually they would keep your feet even cooler out on a hot sunny day, but personally, I've not had a chance to try them yet, so I can't speak for actually how they perform out on the course, but they do retail also on the Footjoy website for £80, same as the original Flex, so you've got some choices in this range. I really hope you're finding this video helpful today, so hit that like button if you are, and if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can keep up to date with all my latest reviews of golf shoes, clothing and tech, right here on Golf Guy Reviews. 
At number three, I've included the Adidas Code Chaos Spikeless Golf Shoes, and these currently retail in the UK for around £130. Now, while these shoes do have a mesh upper, which you can see exposed there on the tongue, as well as on the ankle area, they also have this kind of plastic overlay material there to help with the waterproof nature of the shoe but that does mean that they're not necessarily quite as breathable as some of the other shoes on this list. However, I've had to include them because they are nice and lightweight and they are incredibly comfortable. Like seriously, one of the most comfortable golf shoes I've ever worn. They fit quite close to feet, but it's not uncomfortably close. They really do lock in your heel nice and tight and well. They've got a really, really comfortable full boost midsole there. So, you know, these are gonna be like walking on clouds if you've never used boost before. They're probably the most comfortable shoes on this list. Actually, maybe not, I'm not quite sure. Maybe there's gonna be another pair that are more comfortable but they are incredibly stable as well. So in regards to the performance, I would say these are one of the best performing golf shoes in this top five list. They might not keep your feet the coolest out on the golf course compared to some of the other shoes in this list, but they're gonna do a pretty good job because you've got a exposed mesh tongue there. So it's gonna let some airflow in for these shoes. The grip as well on these shoes is actually really, really impressive. And these are just basically one of the best performing golf shoes of 2020. So I had to include them in the list. At number two, we have the Nike Air Max 1G golf shoes that currently retail in the UK for hundred pounds. Now I'm specifically talking about the versions that were released in 2020 because these were released with an updated mesh upper. So that mesh upper is nice and breathable and would keep your feet nice and cool out on the golf course. The originals launched with a synthetic upper that would not perform that great out on a really, really hot summer day and your feet would really, really start to melt if you were in the midday sun out on the course. But these versions have got a nice mesh upper and are gonna let a nice amount of air go through these shoes. The reason why I included these in at number two is because not only are they gonna perform really, really well in regards to the breathability because of that lightweight mesh upper, but actually they perform really well out on the golf course as a golf shoe. They've got really, really impressive integrated traction system, which gives you a good amount of grip out on the course. And actually they give you a decent amount of stability. So you're gonna have a lot of confidence wearing these shoes. Also for me personally, I think they just look great. I love the Air Max 1G in regards to the look and the silhouette. I would say that the Code Chaos probably performs a little bit better. Actually, that's probably not going far enough. I would say that the Code Chaos is a better performing golf shoe. It's got a lower profile. It gives you a more tighter lockdown fit but the Nike actually performed better in regards to the breathability out on the course. And because this list is all about the best summer golf shoes, then they've got a rank slightly above them just because of that. So my number one choice for a summer golf shoe is probably actually gonna surprise a lot of people because it's this. It's the Inesis Dry Grip Golf Shoes. Now these are a spikeless golf shoe from Inesis, which currently retail in the UK, are you ready for this? For 40 pounds. You can buy these from Decathlon Sport in the UK for £40. So you can actually buy three pairs of these and have £10 change left over compared to buying one pair of the Code Chaos. So does that mean that these are just a really, really cheap, flimsy pair of shoes? Well, no, actually, I found that they performed really, really well. In regards to breathability, which is the main focus of this test, these have got an incredibly lightweight upper. It's the most breathable out of all the shoes in this list, and definitely the most breathable pair of shoes that I've ever tested. Also, when it comes to comfort, these are insanely comfortable. I couldn't believe it. For 40 pounds, these are probably just as comfortable, if not maybe a little bit softer, than the Adidas Code Chaos, which uses the Boost midsole foam. So if you're looking for a really, really soft cloud-like feeling when out on the golf course, then you definitely want to give these a go and definitely try these because they are incredibly soft. I don't really know how they do it. In regards to comfort, then you've got a decent amount of padding in the ankle and heel area. These don't necessarily lock down your feet as close as some of the other shoes in this list. But as I say, I've really focused on the comfort and breathability of these shoes rather than the performance when it comes to this top five list. Also, you've got an incredibly thin tongue here. There's a tiny little bit of padding on the inside, but you can see there, that is a really, really thin tongue, which helps keep the weight down because these are a really, really light pair of shoes. In regards to the laces, they're quite thin and skinny. So to be honest, they're not the best laces out there. 
the, you know, they, it is what it is for a pair of shoes that are 40 pounds, you're not gonna get the most incredible materials used right the way throughout the shoe. But actually in regards to performance, I would say that these actually are quite stable. They're certainly more stable than the Nike Roshi G's, which I've brought in at number five. You've got some additional material in this kind of wire shape here around the heel and ankle, which helps lock in and give a little bit more stability to the shoes compared to this very lightweight upper material. And also out on the golf course, you've got quite decent grip for a spikeless golf shoe. So you can see here that these plastic lugs are actually spread out quite far away, but they are quite protracted. So you do get a fairly decent amount of grip and I didn't have any issues slipping in these shoes out on the golf course. So there you go, that's my top five best summer golf shoes. Let me know down in the comments, do you agree with my picks? What do you think? And don't forget, if you wanna check out my full reviews of each of these shoes, I've included the links down in the description below. I really hope you enjoyed this video today and you found it helpful. So make sure you hit that like button if you did and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can keep up to date with all my latest reviews of golf shoes, clothing and tech right here on Golf Guy Reviews.